So the definition of a repeated game is given a two-player game with a uh, pair of matrices A, B, and uh, real numbered values, whether M rows and, and uh, columns, um, it, that is what we're going to refer to as the stage game. And uh, a stage game, uh, a, a, a T stage, T stage repeated game, the T being the important part, that's the number of times the game is uh, repeated, is a game in which players play that stage game T times, and the players make the decisions based on the full history of play. So everyone plays, they know what happens, and they keep repeating this uh, T times, and they do this and add up their utilities at each stage. That is the definition of a uh, T stage repeated game. Um, these games can get quite big. If we think about the equivalent extensive form games, these games can get quite big. Um, as an example, if you had uh, a two by two uh, stage game, so if you had a, a two by two stage game and you had uh, T equals two, then how many leaves would there be in your tree? Well, because we have a two by two uh, stage game, the first uh, game would have four leaves corresponding to uh, the two choices available to the row player and the two choices available to the column player. And each of those four leaves would have four leaves. So we would have 16 possible outcomes uh, to the repeated game. If we had, for example, uh, a game with uh, two uh, row strategies, two row actions, and three column actions, so two by uh, three game. Um, again, with uh, t equals two, then um, here we would have uh, six leaves in the first version of the game, two choices available to the, column, the, the row player, three to the column player. And each of those six would have six options. So we'd have six times six, we'd have 36 possible um, outcomes. And just as a, as a final example, if we still had a, a two by two game and we had uh, T being equal to three, so the game is played three times, well, we'd have four choices in the first game because uh, in the first repetition of the stage game, because it's two choices of the role player, two choices of the column player. To those four uh, 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 choices, we'd have another four. That gets us to 16 after two repetitions. And then 16 uh, of those would have another four, which gives us 64 possible outcomes. So these games can get quite big, quite fast. And that's just important to think about. And what a strategy in a repeated game uh, is what it represents uh, can be quite difficult to get your head around because of how big uh, the possible options and possible outcomes are. Um, a strategy essentially has to have, tell us what to do in every one of these outcomes. Um, uh, but uh, we'll talk about that in the next video.